Hi, my name is Nick Mermages. I'm a uh, South Carolina family court attorney. Uh, that means uh, divorce cases, custody cases, modifications, things like that. Uh, and today I'm going to talk about uh, the concept of separation. Um, I get a lot of calls from folks telling me that they, they want to file for separation. Okay. Um, and, you know, the reason for that is that for a no fault divorce in South Carolina, you need to be uh, separate and apart from your spouse for at least 12 months. Okay. And they think that for that clock to start ticking, you need to file something for separation. And that's actually not true. The 12 month clock just starts ticking from the last night you spent under the same roof with that person. Okay. Um, you don't need to file something to signify that. What, what you do need to do is bring a witness in at the final hearing who can confirm that they know you well enough and they know that you've been separated for more than a year. Okay. But, um, unless it's a real simple case or a brief marriage, okay. Or, and there are no kids, you, you know, just leaving, um, is, and, and, and separating is not something you necessarily want to do. Okay. What instead, uh, you, you want to file what's known as a separation action or an action for separate support and maintenance. Okay. And so when people talk about filing for separation, usually, uh, that is what they are thinking about. And so basically an action for separate support and maintenance, you can file day one after you've separated be the day you or your spouse moves out. And in that action, um, the court can address all of the issues that are brought up in a divorce case. So if you have kids custody, child support, and then division of property and alimony, spousal support, paying attorney's fees, uh, selling you know, the home, dealing with all of the issues that people fight about in a divorce case. So if you have you know, a long marriage or a contested case, or a case where uh, you know there are kids, what you want to do is you you want to file for separation very promptly, okay? Because uh, contested cases or cases with a lot of issues that need to be resolved in a clear way, they can take you know several months at least, and so you file for separation as soon as you separate, and that way by the time the year actually rolls around, all those issues that you would have thought about or at least had to have looked into, negotiated and worked out in a clear way, all those issues are resolved in the separation action. And that means that on day 366, you can file for your divorce and it's gonna happen promptly. It's not gonna be held up by having to litigate and resolve these other issues. There's already gonna be, if you have kids of custody, a determination, a visitation schedule, a child support amount, Okay, and if there's a marriage, there's already going to be a division of assets, a division of debts, determination about who's responsible for what, how things are going to be unwound, and then, you know, a longer marriage, uh, spousal support, and maybe even attorney's fees. Okay, and in particular, if you have a case where you don't agree, you know, and there is stuff to fight about, there are savings, there's a house, there's retirement, there are kids, uh, you know, you need to file for separation promptly so that you can, one, get a temporary ruling from a court, okay, because you can go in and get the court to immediately order or within about 30 days of retaining an attorney. You can get a court hearing uh, to order that, uh, you know, who pays for what, who gets custody of the kids, what the visitation schedule is. So if you're not getting along with that person, the court will step in and give you guidance. You can immediately get prompt relief from the court. And then beyond that, if you actually want to get divorced, you know, within a year um, or as close to that year mark as possible, you got to deal with all these contested issues beforehand. Okay, so that's that's how separate support and maintenance works or that's how filing for separation works. The only other thing is that um, if you aren't separated already, can't get into court. Okay, uh, the court does not have jurisdiction to order someone to leave a home if there are not fault-based grounds. Okay, if somebody is committing adultery, if they are habitually drinking, if they're physically abusive, okay, if it's one of those things and y'all are still living together, the court, the court can hear your case and can order the at-fault spouse to leave, okay? Um, but, uh, you know, for example, in an adultery case, you only have to wait 90 days to get your divorce. 
from the day you file. Okay, so um, that's, that's a little bit different. The point is though, in the absence of fault, the first day you can file for separation or the first day the court has jurisdiction, meaning the power to make a decision, is the day that you move out, okay? But day one, when you move out, your attorney can file paperwork uh, and, and you can get a temporary hearing so that you can figure out who's gonna pay for what, okay, on a temporary basis till the case is over. And regardless, you can get the process rolling so that all these contested issues can hopefully be completely resolved uh, by the time your one year mark is hit and that'll allow you to actually get divorced and move on with your life, you know, in a fair and prompt way, okay? So that's how separations work. Again, my name's Nick Mermages. Uh, you can contact my office at 803-724-1258. We do free phone consultations and we do take divorce, custody, family cases throughout the state of South Carolina.